Adam Thomas Jones is a three-time Grammy Award-winning American musician and visual artist, best known for his position as the guitarist for Grammy Award-winning band Tool. Jones has been rated the 75th greatest guitarist of all time by the Rolling Stone and placed ninth in Guitar World's Top 100 Greatest Metal Guitarists. Jones is also the director of the majority of Tool's music videos. Biography equals Early years and personal life equals, Jones was born in Park Ridge, Illinois, raised in Libertyville, Illinois. He was accepted into the Suzuki program, and continued to play violin through his freshman year in high school. It was said that as a child he was very different from other children. He would always skip church in favor of reading Sunday comics. As a child he had an interest in animation, turning his ideas into three-dimensional sculptures, which explains why Tool's music videos often had 3D clay effects. He later began to play the acoustic bass in an orchestra. In addition to playing classical music, Jones played bass guitar in the band Electric Sheep, with Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine, until Jones moved to California. According to both of them, the band was quite unpopular at the time. Jones never received traditional guitar lessons, but instead learned by ear. On January 27, 2013, Jones became engaged to his girlfriend, painter Kieran Fort. The marriage proposal took place before the Royal Rumble event. Their wedding took place on July 6, 2013. Equals film work equals, Jones was offered a film scholarship but declined and chose to move to Los Angeles to study art and sculpture. His focus of interest shifted to film, and he began to work as a sculptor and special effects designer, where he learned the stop-motion camera techniques he would later apply in Tool's music videos, such as Sober, Prison Sex, Stink Fist, Enema, Schism, Parabola, and Vicarious. He graduated in 1987. After graduation, he went to work at Rick Lazarini's character shop. During the next couple of years, he worked the TV show Monsters. He designed and fabricated a Grim Reaper makeup and a zombie head on a spike among others. After that, he went to Stan Winston's special effects workshop, where he worked on Predator 2, sculpting a unique-looking skull for the Predator's spaceship interior. Jones worked on several other big films in Hollywood doing makeup and set design, including Jurassic Park, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Dances with Wolves, and Ghostbusters 2. He did the Freddy Krueger in the Wu makeup for A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, as well as work for A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. He also worked on commercials for Salad Dressing, Olympic Stain, and Duracell. Equals music career equals. Jones also toured with the Jello Biafra The Melvins Band and contributed to their albums Never Breathe What You Can't See in Syeg Howdy. Jones and Melvin's guitarist vocalist Buzz Osborne are close friends. Jones also appeared on the Melvin's album Hostile Ambient Takeover, the Melvin's Lost Mud collaboration Pigs of the Roman Empire and the Isis album Wavering Radiant. On Mr. Show, he appeared as the fictional guitarist of Pussifer along with bandmate Keenan, and can also be spotted in the audience seated at a table with Keenan in the series' first episode. On August 14, 2011, Jones performed the national anthem of the United States at the outset of WWE's SummerSlam wrestling event in Los Angeles. Equals playing style equals, Adam Jones is known for not predominantly using any particular guitar playing technique, but rather combining many techniques such as alternately utilizing power chords, scratchy noise, chiming arpeggios, offbeat rhythm patterns, and a quiet minimalism. On Late Rollis and 10,000 Days, he made heavy use of triplets. Other techniques used to expand his band's sound repertoire require forms of instrumental experimentation and applications of non-instrumental experimentation as well, such as his use of an appeal of as a plectrum on the Enema and Lateralis albums for example. Continuing in this direction on the Tool song, Jambi, Jones uses a talk box. In the song Third Eye, he makes use of a guitar slide for the opening. He has two synthesizers that are listed below in his effects section. Live, Adam can be seen with a large tileboard full of effects, including a DODFX40B equalizer pedal, 
BOSS BF2 flanger, BOSS DD3 digital delay, MXA microamp, Dunlop BB535 and two BOSS master switch power supply pedals among a few others. Equals visual art equals, Jones created the liner art for the re-release of Peaches Giving Birth to a Stone, in which Jones's fellow tool member Justin Chancellor played bass. He helped Green Jello with their costumes. In 2007 he received the Grammy Award for Best Recording Package as Art Director for his work on 10,000 Days. Adam came up with the makeup layout the actors wore on the videos for Schism, and Parable Parabola. In his spare time, Adam shoots photography that is used for the visuals at live tool concerts. Adam draws his own comics, a habit he began as a young child manipulating his ideas into 2D form on paper. An X-Files slash 30 Days of Night crossover in 2010 was co-written by Jones and 30 Days creator Steve Niles with artwork by Tom Mandrake. Equipment equals Guitars equals, Adam Jones uses Gibson Silverburst Les Paul Customs, of which he owns three as his main guitars for live performances and in the studio. His main Les Paul has a headstock ornament. It appears to be a blue mirror which covers the usual split diamond inlay Gibbs and Les Paul customs are known for. Another of his silver bursts is a 1981 model and has an unsightly screw in it that Jones will not remove because doing so may hurt the unique tone of the guitar. After making these silver burst Les Pauls in the late 70s and early 80s, Gibson discontinued using this finish after complaints about the metal flaking changing the tone of the guitar. Jones says that this altered tone is part of the draw for him. In a March 1994 interview with Guitar School magazine, Adam states, I use Gibson guitars. I prefer the Le Paul Custom. It's a black guitar with a greenish burst in the middle. They only made them for two or three years. I guess a lot of people complained that the metallic finish was affecting the sound. That's exactly why I like playing it. I have seen more Duncan pickups, and I can't get the same sound with any other guitar not even another Gibson, without that finish on it. I have five of them. I'd buy another if I could find one. Adam has admitted that his guitars are customized, but he has kept secret the exact nature of the modifications he has made to his guitars. Jones stated in 2001 that his pickups were hot-wired, and would say nothing beyond this. Jones has admitted that the fret wire on the Gibsons is of the heaviest gauge. When playing live, Jones also uses a natural finish Le Paul to play the songs Prison Sex, and Parable Parabola, which are in BADGBE and BEDGBE tunings respectively. When in the studio, Jones has said he has used other guitars, mentioning a Gibson SG electric guitar and a Guild acoustic guitar amongst others. Equals amplifiers equals, the amplifiers that Jones uses to create his unique tone are uncertain as he and the band are known for spreading misinformation about themselves and their music. What is known for certain is that he uses multiple amplifiers simultaneously. Of the amplifiers that he has cycled through, two have remained constant since 1995 and can be assumed to be core of his sound. These imps are a 1976 Marshall Super Bass Imp and a 1995 Diesel VH4 Blueface Amp. The Blueface plate models were made from 94 a Euro 97 and have less presence and a darker tone than the current silver face that are being made. The Marshall is his oldest amp, and was most likely used on all the tool recordings, all the way back to OP8EP. According to Dave Friedman, who has worked on Adam's Marshall, the amp is a 1959, bass circuit, late 70s with JJL34s and Chinese preamp tubes, Xu Kuang. It has been modified to super lead spec with 100k negative feedback on the 4 ohm output tap. It has a 0.68 cap on the presence and a 0.68 cap in V2, also the caps in V1 are both 0.022s. The imp is biased to 25 ma and he jumps the channels with a cable. Adam has stated that this imp is of the non-master volume type and has have both channels wired together. He keeps this imp in the freezer, when not in use to help preserve it. The diesel has been in his live-in studio setup since at least 1994. This is a four-channel amp from Germany. 
from as early as 1994 until the late 2000s Adam can be seen live using a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier two-channel amplifier as a third amp. In some interviews from that period, Jones has confirmed that it is a dual rectifier. More recently, this Mesa Boogie has not appeared on stage and appears to have been replaced with another more recent VH4 amp. The new model VH4s have a silver faceplate and are different in voicing and circuitry compared to the blue faces. Interestingly, he does not always appear to use this amp. During some shows, the blue diesel's standby clearly remains illuminated for the duration of the performance, while the amp is without a doubt on and being used at other shows. Other amps mentioned by Adam include a soon beta lead which he states he used in place of the Mesa Boogie during studio recording in a June 2001 interview. More recently Jones has talked about using Bonner, Rivera, and Pierre amps in the studio as well as his Marshall and Diesel. He appears to use Mesa Boogie cabinets exclusively with his amps, with the exception of a Marshall cabinet which is always seen sitting under his Marshall head. Later all this may have been recorded with the diesel amp, along with the Marshall bass amp. Adam has made references to a soon head and may have also used his Mesa Boogie rectifier in the studio. By the time of the main later all this tour, the only Mesa Boogie equipment in sight was the two Mesa rectifier standard cabinets. MixOnline.com's interview with Joe Barassi and Bob Ludwig discuss Adam's equipment and setup for the 10,000 Days album with great detail. When discussing the amps, Barassi mentions Adam's famous Marshall and Diesel, a Mesa Boogie, a Bonnie Bashaw, a Rivera Knucklehead Reverb, and several others. In a Guitar World magazine interview Adam also mentions an unspecified PV amp, which is probably one of the several others that Barassi mentions. As far as cabinets go, Barassi says that Mesa Boogie cabinets were mostly used because of the better low-end response. The Marshall ran through its Marshall cabinet and the Rivera ran through a Rivera cabinet. Barassi goes on to describe signal chain for tracking. He says that Adam would play through certain effects and then send the signal to a splitter. The sound would then go into three to five amps. The Marshall and Diesel would each get their own track, and a third track would be a mix of the other amps. Each cabinet would have at least two to three mix on them. Rivera Imps also claims on its webpage that he is using a Rivera Knucklehead Reverend Mick Thompson model on the recording. It is worth pointing out that Adam does not switch channels on his VH4. He uses only channel 3 when playing live. All changes in intensity are through his pick, his volume knob, or a volume pedal. Also, another point to mention about Adam's live rig is that he uses Mesa Boogie 4X12 oversized rectifier straight front slant baffle cabinets with his VH4s. Equals effects equals, according to a Guitar School interview in 1994, Jones stated that he strongly disliked using effect pedals. During that time, he only used two pedals, a delay and an equalizer, due in part to the reliability of simple live setups. He is known for subtle wire use, to only create slight tone and timbre bends. There is also an older Ibanez flanger and digital delay present on much of Anima and Latrolus. Flanger is definitely a staple of his live tone. Adam runs these pedals right into the front of the amplifiers as opposed to in the effects loop. In the April 2006 edition of Guitar World magazine, Jones revealed that he used the Gig FX Chopper effects pedal. He also mentioned that he had several pedals modified, and that he used an altered volume pedal to control the strength of some effects. A newer Ernie Ball standard volume pedal is clearly visible on his stage setup. He also stated that he uses the Fog's Tone Machine reissue and a Hale Talk box on the song Jambi that he learned to use with Joe Walsh's help. Adam used a pipe bomb microphone for the lead recording of the song Rosetta Stoned. Jones also uses a Dunlop Crybaby BB535 wah. In a recent Guitar World interview, he stated that he uses an Access Virus synth hooked up to a Roland Park 5 MIDI controller. As an example, the Access VB can be heard in the introduction of the song's reflection, and the grudge. External links, Adam Jones on MySpace, Adam Jones at the Internet Movie Database References